Hi, I'm Josh Jenkins. I'm the R&D manager at Scientific Anglers, and I'm going to go over how to use the regulator spool to swap fly lines on and off your fly reel. When you purchase the regulator spool, it'll look like this. It'll be on its packaging. And to remove it from its packaging, you're going to do essentially the same function with the spool that you would do to take a fly line off your fly reel. There's two red flanges. I'm going to get a hold of each one. I'm going to turn them counterclockwise relative to each other until these four posts collapse completely. That will allow me to remove this flange and then take off the packaging. Once I have the packaging off, you can also see that the two included crank handles are stuck on their storage position. This is where you're gonna keep them when you're not using the spool so they don't get lost. To be able to use this to take a fly line off of my fly reel, first I'm gonna take the crank handles off of their storage position and set those aside for now. And then I'm gonna take the other flange and reassemble the spool. I'm gonna put this on, take both flanges, rotate them clockwise relative to each other. That's gonna expand out that arbor. And I'm gonna keep going until it stops. The next thing I'm gonna need is a couple twist ties. I've got some here. Around the outside rim of the regulator spool, you'll see there are four slots, and those two are except the twist ties. Uh, they basically hold them while you're cranking the line on. You really only need two for most applications, so I'm gonna use two here. I'm gonna take this twist tie and pre-bend it into a U-shape, and then I'm gonna set that U-shape down inside the spool. And then the free end of the twist ties, I'm gonna bend over the rim so it's retained. So I'm gonna take that free end on this side, on this side, and bend it over. So I've got a U-shape twist tie in the center with the ends constrained. I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side, U-shape down into the spool, bend over the edges, and now I've got the regulator spool with two twist ties ready to go. On the side of the regulator spool with the SA logo, I've got a small hole near the rim, and this is gonna be used to hold the fly line. So first I'm gonna take the end of the fly line and have my friend here hold the rod. I'm gonna take the end, go through the spool and out that hole. So I have the end sticking out here. I'm gonna hold it, and then I'm just gonna give a few wraps of the fly line by hand to get things started and to give me some tension. Maybe three or four wraps is probably enough. Okay, so now that I've got that started, I'm gonna put the crank handles into the regulator spool. When I'm taking a fly line off of a fly reel on the side with the SA logo again, I'm gonna use the larger hole that's off center. I'm gonna take one crank handle, push it in there until it snaps. And then on the opposite side, I've only got one large hole in the center. I'm gonna put the other crank handle in there. And now I'm ready to take the fly line off the fly reel. You wanna make sure you have your drag set to a pretty low setting so you don't have too much tension. But other than that, all you really need to do is crank the fly line on. Okay, so I've completely got the fly line off of my fly reel with the regulator spool. Now to form the coil, all I need to do is use the twist ties to completely constrain everything. So I'm gonna take the ends of the twist ties, lift them up and twist them together. Do the same on the other side, take the end, lift it up, twist them together. And then I can collapse the arbor and remove the coil by turning the flanges. And you'll notice that when there's a fly line coil in here, it will be a little bit tighter of a fit, but if you turn it enough, it will go. So I've removed the flanges and here is my fully formed coil of fly line. And if you're looking for a good storage solution, either at home or on the road, a great option is our fly line wallet. Okay, so I just used the regulator spool to take my floating fly line off my reel and I've already detached it from my backing. And I've gone ahead and attached the backing to the fly line coil that I wanna put back onto my reel. In this case, a sink tip. So I'm gonna grab the side of the regulator spool that has the four gray arbor posts. I'm gonna take this fly line coil I'm gonna put it over those posts, ensuring that it clears all of them. You don't want any of the coil getting behind there, otherwise it'll tangle. I'm gonna take the other half of the regulator spool, put it back together, and then crank it out until it stops. Just like that. And it's okay if it doesn't go to that last position, you just want a good amount of tension on the inside of the coil. Next, I'm going to take the ties off of this coil and to do that, you have a couple options. You can either untwist them and completely remove them, or in this case, I'm just gonna untwist them and leave them on the spool and tuck the free ends around the edge of the spool so they're not in the way. And 
And then the final step is we need to move this crank handle to the center position. So when we were moving the fly line, we had it, the crank handle in this off center hole here on the side with the SA logo. I'm gonna take that one out and put it in the center hole along with the other one on the other side. So I've got both handles in the center hole and now I'm ready to take this fly line off the regulator spool and put it back onto my fly reel. So you have a couple options there. You can have a friend hold it for you. Um, you can also pinch this between your knees and the amount of pressure you push inward on these crank handles is gonna determine how easy it is to take the fly line off. So I can adjust the attention on the fly line by doing that. So I'm gonna have Joe hold the regulator spool for me and I'm gonna put this onto my fly reel. So whether or not you want to swap your fly line for a trip or you want to change for different fishing conditions, the regulator spool is going to allow you to do that easily with one device.